Hello again, here's some of my Star Wars collection. Uh, we have, this is my action fleet vessels. We have a TIE fighter. We have a newer version of the Attack with the snow splattering on it. Um, we have Darth Vader's TIE fighter, the X-1. Um, Imperial Assault um, shuttle. And we have obviously the shuttle Tidarium. An ATTE walker. TIE bomber. TIE Interceptor, the ATST, the Scout Walker, um, the original ATAT, and another TIE Fighter. Um, then we also have, excuse the lighting, Slave One, and we have a Y Wing, this is Gold Leader. We have um, the Radiant Seven. And we have a Republic gunship, uh, a ship that no Star Wars fan ever needs to be introduced to, <laughs> needs an introduction to, of course, the Millennium Falcon, uh, the B-Wing, and hiding in the back, I can just move him out of the way, is the Battle of Endor A-Wing, FX-7 back, and then down here we have the snow, have a snow speeder. We have Red 5, the second version. Um, we also have Red 3. And we have Red Leader, Battle of Endor, um, Y Wing, which has a slightly different cockpit. I said, excuse the lighting. We have that's Red 6, Jack Pawkins. And um, a standard, that's Arville Cronid's. Um, uh, a wing, Tanti four, and then down here we have a Rancor, the MTT, uh, sand crawler, and further up here we have um, the T sixteen and the Boo N one Starfighter, um, Cloud Car, another X wing, I think. That might be another Luke X-Wing, uh, Luke Skywalker Red 5, the first variant. And I think you'll find that's possibly Wedge's uh, Red 2 with a power force. We have another Snow Speed variant, Darth Vader's Damaged TIE Fighter. Uh, another Snow Speeder, another Snow Speeder variant. We have the play sets at the back, and right at the back. We have Prince Zizor's Varego Star Viper. That's some of my action fleet vehicles. There you go. Uh, hopefully, I'll po post them all later. Bye.